Hey guys, welcome back to The Curly Reader. My name's Amanda and today I want to share with you my Lindsay Weekend book haul. Okay, so recently Lindsay from Lindsay's Little Library came to visit me for the weekend and we did a lot of book shopping and thrifting and just hung out. We went and saw Ruta Sapetti speak. We visited Nadia Cakes, which is the um, cupcake shop that is owned by Abby Jimenez, who writes romance books. Um, and I have previously posted a um, vlog that includes all of our shenanigans. And so you can go check that out. I will link that down in the um, description of this video down below. But I'm going to share with you today all of the books and puzzles that I hauled during my weekend with Lindsay. So let's start with books. I have a whole stack of books right here. Most of these were thrifted. A handful of them are new. Um, we went to Savers, which is a thrift store. Goodwill, which is a thrift store. We went to Half Price Books and got some used books. And then we went to Majors and Quinn, which is an indie bookstore um, that also has used books. It is in Minneapolis. And, but the most of the books I got from there were actually new. So I'm just gonna start at the top of the list and go down. These are in no order. They're not sorted out, but there's a lot of them. So the first one on the top of the list is one that I got from Savers. This is Plain Truth by Judy Jody Pico. This is one that Lindsay handed to me and said, you should read this. Um, it is about Amish country, um, a police investigation, a uh, story of a murder that shatters the picturesque calm of Amish country. I don't know. Lindsay said I should read it, so I bought it. You will find that that is probably the case of a few of these. Um, I found a printed hardcover copy of Frostheart. Um, this is a middle grade book that I know Krista has read, and I've been wanting to check it out. It's illustrated, which is fun. Um, a lot of the pages have illustrations on them. Uh, let's see if I can find a full page. Probably not now that I'm trying, but um, they just have lots of fun illustrations. So I thought that this would be a fun one to have or to add to my middle grade collection. Um, I picked up A Little Hope by Ethan Joella. This is another one that Lindsay's like, I've heard that this is really, really good. It has to do with an idyllic Connecticut town over the course of a year. Um, it follows the intertwining lives of a dozen neighbors as they confront everyday desires and fears, a lost love, a stalled career, an illness, and a betrayal. She said it was really good, so I picked it up. Um, I got 40 Autumns. This is a family story of courage and survival on both sides of the Berlin Wall. That's all I know. That's literally all I know. I was like, yep, that sounds like um, something that I need to read. So I got it. Um, I picked up Stolen Innocence. This is my story of growing up in a polygamous sect, becoming a teenage bride, and breaking free of Warren Jeffs. This is by Alyssa Wall with Lisa Pulitzer. Um, and so it's not in the best shape, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, it has a post-it note in here. Somebody must have liked that passage. So that's kind of fun. Um, but we all know that I have a fascination with specifically polygamous cults. So I thought that was right up my alley. Um, I found The Authenticity Project by Claire Pooley. Um, Iona Iverson's Rules for Commuting was one of my favorite books last year and I've been wanting to own this because it is gorgeous and I really want to read it. So I went ahead and grabbed this. No idea what it's about. I just know that I previously liked that author. I picked up, this was from Majors and Quinn, hence the sticker. Um, Our Woman in Moscow by Beatrice Williams. This has to do with Cold War and spies and those are all buzzwords for me. So I grabbed that. I have to situate some stuff over here. Um, I got a copy of The Golden Spoon, which I just started listening to and am loving so far. This is by Jessa Maxwell and this is like a Great British Bake Off murder mystery. It's fantastic so far. Really, really good on audio as well. Um, I picked up a copy. I've been wanting this for a while. So I went ahead and picked up a copy of Demon Copperhead by Barbara Kingsolver. I've heard that this is really good. And I love, 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 love this cover. 
This is a David Copperfield retelling, um, which I've never read David Copperfield and I probably am not going to, but I just, I love the spine. I love the cover. I wanted to own it. So I went ahead and got it. Um, I found, oh, my air just kicked on. Hopefully you can't hear that. Um, I found the first book in the Explorer Academy series. This is a book series that I have numbers six and seven, but I need one through five. And I found the first one at the thrift store. This is the Nebula, Nebula Secret. This is a series that is published by National Geographic and it's a middle grade series. And each of the books in the series are set on a different continent. So it's just kind of a really cool, um, I don't know, like series. And they're illustrated, they're fun. I thought that these would be good to have for my kids. Um, all right, I picked up a copy of When the Apricots Bloom by Gina Wilkin Wilkinson. Um, this is, I'm not sure what this is about. It's set in Baghdad. Um, I don't know. A secretary at the Australian Embassy lives in fear of the Muka Bara, the secret police, who watch and listen for any scrap of information that can be used against America and its allies. So I don't know. I, this was just one that had kept coming across my like, I kept, I kept coming across. That's what I was trying to say. And I finally grabbed it. It was on the clearance shelf at Half Price Books. So got it. Um, I've been wanting to get The Kingdoms of Savannah. This is like a, I think it's like a fantasy Savannah may appear to be some town out of a fable with its vine flowers, turreted mansions, and ghost tours that romanticize the city's history. But look deeper and you'll soon, you'll uncover secrets, past and present, that tell a more sinister tale. It's the story of the heart of George Dawes Green's chilling new novel, The Kingdoms of Savannah. It has a map at the front, so that's fun. Um, but I went to Savannah last year and ever since I've just been fascinated with it, so I've been wanting that for a while. Uh, one that I found on uh, another one that I found on the clearance table or in the clearance section at Half Price Books, The Cartographers by Peng Shepard. I've been wanting to read this for a while, and I found it for hardcover for four dollars, so I grabbed it. This has to do with a map. That's all I really know. Um, all right, one that I got at the indie bookstore is Big Tree by Brian Selznick. This is his most recent book. I found a signed copy just so fun um and I love Brian Selznick this is a middle grade book I have no clue what it's about but I just I had to get it because I wanted to read it um I picked up a copy of Love and Saffron this is a book by Kim Fay, and this is one that I heard about from um Katie on the currently reading podcast it's a short little book it's epistolary and it's about food which isn't really my love language but I've heard really 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 good things about this so I grabbed that I found a copy of The Wild Robot Escapes by Peter Brown. This is the second book in the Wild Robot duology. And I have The Wild Robot, so I figured I would get this one. All right, we have two more books left. Um, Kitchens of the Midwest by J. Ryan Stradell. It's a local author to me, and I didn't have this one yet. I didn't realize it was so short. Um, and it is about a food-obsessed family in Minnesota. That's really all I know. I don't really know what it's about. Oh, and then this last one is a book exchange book. So um, I did get a few book exchange books um, while we were out and about. Um, my friends and I do a Christmas book exchange every year. So that's what I'm referring to when I say book exchange books. Um, and then I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine puzzles. You guys, nine puzzles. All right, so the first puzzle that I got is this mushroom puzzle. This is a 500 piece puzzle um, by Fred, um, Genuine Fred. Uh, I love this one. I got this from Savers. So yeah, I just, most of these are used. All but one of them are used. Um, all right, this is another one I found. This is a thousand piece Milky Way puzzle. This is gonna be so hard to do. Um, but this is, who is this by? Celestial Jigsaws. We'll see. We'll see what we think of that one. Um, I got this one. Oh, this looks so beautiful. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I am so excited to do this one. This one is by Premium. Let's see. Who is this by? Oh, Lantern Press. I love that. Thousand Piece Puzzle. Got that from Goodwill. 
Um, I got a few from Half Price Books. Sorry, I keep leaning forward. My puzzles are on the floor in front of me. Um, this Christmas Gallison one was on clearance for $3. So I picked that up. I thought that was so cute. This, like, pop, what is this called? Oh, where is it at? It's a Seiko puzzle. It's a Disney Seiko puzzle. Oh, it's enamel pins. And that's a thousand piece puzzle, which is going to be, once again, so hard to do, but so fun. That was also on clearance for $3. Um, Lindsay said that she's done some of these night and day buffalo puzzles before, and so she recommended getting this thousand piece buffalo puzzle from Half Price Books. I'm going to save this one for last because that one's my favorite. <laughs> um, all right, I got this one, which actually this is the full picture. Um, and I just, I absolutely love it. That's a, it's a thousand and eight pieces. Got that one at the thrift store. I got this one from Half Price Books. It's a shaped puzzle. It was 10 bucks. Um, it's a 750 piece shaped puzzle by Gallison and it's like flowers coming out of books. It just looks so cool. And then my favorite puzzle that we got is by the brand Puzzle Twist, which is a Minnesota brand and it is a map of all the indie bookstores in the Midwest. So it has North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, Minnesota, Iowa, Missouri, Illinois, and Wisconsin, and then the UP of Michigan. And so it has all of these, and if you look really close, it's all the different indie bookstores all over it. And I am so excited to do this. Lindsay and I both got the same puzzle. Um, this was the one that we got new. We got this from the indie bookstore and I am excited to do that one. I actually might do that one next. We'll see. So anyway, those are all the books and puzzles that I got during my weekend with Lindsay. Um, if you've heard of any of these books, if you want me to read them sooner rather than later, make sure you comment about those things down below in the comment section. Also go check out Lindsay's channel today because she's also posting her haul of everything that she got during our time together and that's going to do it for today. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you stick around and subscribe and until next time, see ya.